All right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the Shroud of the Avatar nude so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours. Because, uh, I mean, it's, we only have one show today, or, or this week, and one sh- sh- show today. And Laz, are you muted on your stream again? Uh, me? Muted? But No. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Yeah. And, uh, no, no, well, in your chat, they're they're asking. Yeah, oh, I know it, it was it, it was me. Oh, he, he, you changed it quickly. Okay. Is uh, I, I was in another screen doing something else during the weekend, and apparently, I guess if you muted another screen, it mutes it here. So again, oh. greetings and welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Monday Madness here on NBNN. It is Monday, November 21st, 2022. And now I, I don't waste my time with stuff like that as uh, yeah. the gas station lady. I don't waste yes. my time with that. But uh, <clears throat> this is the one, the only, the best show of the week because, again, it is going to be the only show of the week hey, as we it, take it's time gonna off. It's going to be the best one. It's going to be right. the best show this week. Best Absolutely train wreck of the, the week. Best That's right. Show this week. <laughs> but as you see, uh, people are getting in on things. The giveaways are open on both sides. Yes, they are. Exclamation mark. I love free shit for the Steam Key giveaway and exclamation mark bundle me for the. New Sky Blabber. I haven't seen you around in a while. And then Storm Salmon. This looks like a new name out oh. there. Yes. Drow 33. Dark Drow is here. Oh, yeah. yeah Lomir yeah. is here Don't in the studio. Both, stre- both streams increase your odds. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, there there is several things that allow uh, streaming both at the same time. I can't remember what it is. 
I don't think so, Stymie. What? Is it, since there's only one show this week, that means streamer bundles every well, 15 minutes? Er, every 15 minutes, if we hit uh, uh, 500 bits every 15 minutes. But <laughs> if you want to get a stream bundle, you can always contribute uh, 300 bits. And It'd be five times stream, yeah. streamer bundles. Yeah. I'll tell you what, is I saw something completely new uh, this weekend as I was watching the Graceful Bard hit her third anniversary. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, let, oh, let's get this up on screen because this was uh, quite the interesting the, little the, uh, development. The screenshot that you sent me over the weekend? Yeah, that's, absolutely. Oh, that's uh, on I, your, I've got to go, yeah. fi- go find that screenshot. But holy shit, the graceful bard hit was on her way to a level 10 hype train. Not on her way. She actually was at level 10 hype train. So apparently uh, the folks over at uh, Twitch have decided that level five was uh, too low because people kept going over it. So there is actually higher levels finally. So uh, you can actually go up beyond level five now, which is uh, quite was quite the interesting thing to see, uh, of course. Uh, so yeah, holy mackerel! And Tina, I can tell you that uh, Draken uh, was the what re- reason behind that. He actually tipped thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three bits for three years to her. Yes. Which was the equivalent of three hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty three some odd cents. Uh as a single tip. As a single yeah. tip. So uh we're gonna be starting season eight in January, so I expect eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight yeah, from yeah, all of absolutely. you out there. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that would be fantastic <laughs> on both streams. That would be phenomenal. Absolutely, but uh mm. yes. Hype trains are now capable, apparently, of going way, way, way past yes. level five. So I, I mean, will. N- no be longer updating. can I can I sit there and say, "Hey, if we hit tier six on my stream, I'll give away all your uh, game all keys." Of my Steam keys. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, the Netherlands are about to beat Senegal. If you're interested in the, the World Cup. Yeah, nobody's interested in that. I don't know, just 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 most of the, <laughs> the rest of the world. But I mean, the, I mean, who really cares about the Netherlands or Senegal? But and yeah, why is yeah. the World Cup in Qatar? I have no idea. Oh, they they bid it, the it's most graft, graft. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> Because because they spoiled the uh, committee more than any any other yes, country did. They, yeah, they gave all the <laughs> the kickbacks. I guess uh, Tina is laughing about Elon Musk's twit tweets uh, today, or how their copyright protection is broken and people are yeah. posting full movies on Twitter. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, he, said, he said it right the first time. Elon Musk twit. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. A twit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and uh wow. Uh sit, uh uh Netherlands the Netherlands are up 2 to 0 with like 30 Yeah, who, who who is that who posted about that? Was that you on your uh Facebook? What what? Uh about beer drinking <clears throat> at the uh Oh, yes. soccer so, tournaments. So the peasants are not allowed to purchase alcohol at the World Cup uh, within the game stadium. But if you are rich and you have one of the booths, you are allowed to consume all the alcohol that you want. Yeah. Um, But Qatar is one of those countries where they don't uh, allow a lot of alcohol. It's a it's one of those other things. I mean, there, there are so many reasons why that. Uh, Qatar should never be able to host. Um, but y- you know what? They paid a fuck ton of kickbacks to FIFA, and FIFA said, "Okay, okay, but yes, yeah." It's like we'll let you host it. 
because you gave us lots of money. Yes, USA versus Wales in one hour. Um, I, I don't know who's going to win that one. Um, I, I would like to say the U.S., but um, <laughs> the U.S. sucks. <laughs> so, yeah. I and mean, if it was the women's team, uh, I would be like, U.S. is going to take win the entire tournament just because th- they like to do that. But yes. Um, so, hey, interesting, interesting news. The guy that said, hey, I uninstalled Twitter and I'm not going to fucking con- contribute to Elon's train wreck has tweeted. You mean he left Twitter, but he didn't leave Twitter and didn't. Delete his yes, account yes. because, yeah, he left but not left Twitter and tweeted out on the 18th. Release 108 updates, stream with Atos, Ravelox, Sanyo, Allium, and dun 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 question mark. The question mark oh. was the one, <clears throat> the only, the storyteller and, and, himself. And that was actually a different tweet than the at Shroud of Avatar, mm. which said release 108 stream starting at 4 p.m. Central with a special guest. Yes. <clears throat> and, that, and that special guest was Scotty. 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 Back to do some more contract work. Back to do some more contract work. Yes, that is correct. We we may see some new artwork. Yes, we may see some new artwork. As Scotty is back to being a contractor. Um, And and I get to watch the World Cup in Spanish because uh, I paid for Peacock TV just to watch the World Cup. (laughs) Habla un piquito espanol, pero leo mayor or something yeah. like that. Because most of your students were Spanish speaking as it was, so I'm sure you picked up uh, just a wee bit. No. Well, they, they, well, they, they, they spoke Laredo Mex. Uh, Laredo Mex. Yeah, so, so uh, that's, that way. Uh, you, that's you, not you quite Tex Mex, it's Laredo Mex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, although it, the English is cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris, so ne- I don't think Laz watched the stream. I didn't watch the stream. Um, uh, but Chris's eyes were bulging when Scotty kept coming up with new ideas and saying, we could do that. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. We're just not going to do that. Yeah. We could do a lot of things. And and hi, Lily. We're never going to do that. We're never going to do that. Why are you cold? Were you in the window or something? Yeah. L- L- Lily is on my desk again. Uh, uh, and even talked about adding playable ra- elves as a race. Yes. But yeah, all the things that we could have done. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and don't forget, if you want us to play marbles, 500 bits or sub. If you want Steam Keys, 300 bits. If you want... Uh, me to disappear for a year send me one bitcoin <laughs> he'll retire to uh, hawaii for a year I I, I I i i will stop streaming for a year um yes um and then i'll come back with a vengeance <laughs> so when we left off friday we were talking still about release notes oh yes we were yes we were uh, we were in the World in Quest Changes, I believe. World in Quest Changes. Yes. Um, because they added the new garbage bins near the town crier in Airy, Ardoris, Blood Bay, Brittany Alleys, Brittany Wharfs, Brewcash, Castle Lassos, uh, Central Brittany, Exeter, Graff Island, Grus, Kingsport, Owl's Head, Resolute, and Sultan. 
But let's stop there for a minute. So uh, these had to then be baked into all these scenes. Is that correct? Yes. Because yeah, so. it's now a new asset in each of those scenes. Yes. Is, uh, and Applesauce now, Pants says they have moved so far away from Lloyd Rich's vision at this point. It's they are just catering to who is keeping the game going. Uh, being yeah. gone a year and a half, the drama still hasn't changed. Yeah, well, uh, in this past Friday's stream, Chris actually admitted that the inmates were running the insane asylum uh, right there on stream. He actually said that. Uh, so, uh, you know, he said that the inmates were running the show. Uh, but meanwhile, on the subject of trash cans, let's jump to this topic real quick because oh, okay. yeah. so, somebody doesn't like the new trash cans. Jackal is like, that item looks horrible. Please remove it from the game. Be more creative. Like Valheim uses a destructor that you can place items in. Then you, when you pull the control arm, electric current zaps the area, including the contents. Put the kobolds to work on a better trash can. And first job, throw that garbage bin graphic into it. Um, and Contra Dragon's like, theoretically, every fireplace would make sense to double as a garbage bin for a flammable yeah, control no, I, like I like paper it. and books. I like Especially it. as most wood fires are started with better flammable material like tinder or some paper. An yeah. absolutely fantastic idea. Yeah. Um. Uh. And then, uh, Frost. He's like, me thinks thou art a bit picky, sir. Looks fine to me. Uh, Dulane's like, I don't see the problem. To me, if they br brought brought it in and didn't tell us about it, it wouldn't even notice. It blends nicely, in my opinion. Um. This would be a nice idea. Maybe the devs could make it so that we could combine them with different objects like fireplace deco to give us that immersion factor of de using different objects in that manner. <laughs> and let's not forget the outhouse. Uh, there are it. outhouses in several Flush instances. It. And what does one need to do need in an outhouse? Paper, of course. So outhouses can d double as garbage bins for paper too. Yes. I think the outhouse can be doubled for a bin, yeah. period. Just throw everything into the hey, outhouse, I, yes. But, I, uh, I need some moss and some paper and uh, some seashells. As, uh, I, 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 I love love the ideas of the fireplace and the outhouse uh, being it, added. Yeah, I mean, th those are much better. And, uh, like, any kind of midden heap is... Uh, archaeologists loves dig love digging in those for some odd reason because that's where they find all the fun stuff i mean yeah campfires yeah. any any fires that are anywhere in the open uh lava pits should be able to be used as trash cans throw it in the lava yeah and, and selenia wants everybody to know that um uh, paper is for heathens um you need three seashells you need the three seashells. <laughs> I, I I just like the fact that was it the Greeks or the Romans that had the running water into uh, the Romans uh, with into the bathroom? So, yes. Yeah, well, they just had troughs too. And, so, and, and hot and cold water. Yeah. In houses. Good job is, there, Tyrion. When, 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 when you go to Oktoberfest, that's all the men's bathrooms are at troughs. And it's all so, good. Yeah. It's all you need. Yeah, well, you know, you got a lot of drunken guys. Uh, oh, yeah. It's yeah. some house, yeah. And I mean, he had to be wealthy for that shit, but yeah. They're moving right along. Moving right along. Back to back to the patch notes. Uh, I barely have access to my... <laughs> I have one little corner of my mouse pad that Lily is not Noob seeing. Noob Skyblabber, sub for oh. 36 months. Thank oh, you, Noob. Yes. And Noob, do you want the nudes or do you want a game of marbles? Yes. Which one are we doing there, Noob? Let us know. Yeah, my Spanish sucks so much. I I have no idea what the fuck these people are saying. Está aquí. Oh! I need to be on the, the screen screen longer. Um. 
random. random. Who says random uh, marbles? Then, then I need to. Ooh, ooh, oh, that that is not. That is not. Get back here. Confirm. As we get a random track up, okay. we're going to be playing Few Will Survive. I've got the hop, skip, and a jump. And we are clicking start in five, four, three, two, one. Start. I ain't. Factions, PvP, balance, a more robust reputation system, more quests, a game like... This without PvP is basically the Sims in Minecraft. Yeah, it is. Um, yes, the medieval Sims. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it is definitely lots of home decorations. Yes. Um, with Without the automation of, like, the, the Sims. Yeah, there was uh, some talk, apparently, about some... Uh, uh, hold on, where is it? Uh, I have it here. Uh, PV, new PvP balance pass, apparently, this weekend. Uh, November 18th, which would, would have been this Friday's uh, stream, there was a talk about a balance pass on the way. Uh, uh, what's it matter? No one fucking PvPs. Yeah, well, you know, that's you know, good point. I mean, it's like, go look at the leaderboard for the last seven days of PvP, and it's like, Ooh, we're going to have this discussion about PvP and how, how important it is when the last seven days has 18 participants. In a week. How about 30 in days? A, uh, 30 days we had. And, and most of those are people that just died. 30 days, 48. Yeah. Not necessarily most PvP. Are, most of those yeah. Most of those are just people that died. Mostly victim, vi victims. Yeah. yeah, mostly victims. As Stymie takes a commanding lead Selenia out of rimming the brown hole. In the lead on my side, uh, where we rimmed the purple hole and then went through and the answer. Stymie ball. gets sent backwards. And then did weird things. Tina is currently in the lead. I am right behind him. About to get shot out of a cannon. And Tina... Rim in the purple hole again. Oh, oh, oh. Noob oh. Skyblaver takes a good bounce. Oh, Selenia took a bounce forward. Stymie took a one even ahead of that. Tina uh, takes a big bounce and bounces himself out, pass. as does Selenia. People are going round and round. Stymie looks like he's in the lead right now. And then Tyrion just came Oops, up. Skyblab rejected. Cynicist ejected. Stymie ejected. No. I was ejected with Dark I Drow. Oh, me and Stymie are tied. We are in the same bucket. Uh oh, oh, I, I'm in the lead, but Stymie got booped up, and I was victorious. Stymie got ejected. Oh, Everybody we... was ejected. There was no winner. Everybody was I on... ejected. I won on my side. That's the important thing. <laughs> Everybody can send me all their scrolls. But that will trigger a giveaway as we close the giveaways. Pick ourselves a wiener. And Manilkoff, you are the winner. Of a mystery Yay. game key. Congratulations, and everyone. Why in the world did that refresh? I refreshed it right before the show. It shouldn't happen. I do not know. I have finally taken over the lead between myself and Lad, so he's going to end up having to go play some more marbles off stream. The Mantle Cop's going to get a copy of Inside My Radio. Oh, right here on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Yes. But moving right along, let's get back to the news. Okay. 
Seasonal monsters! Pumpkinhead is now dormant and Kramps Krampus has returned at, to E. Sanctus Forest in some snowy mountain road encounters. Now using the timed event spawn operation. Finally! You got your seasonal monsters on a seasonal calendar! Yay! Like it has been for the last several years, but still hasn't worked properly? Oh, shh. Oopsie. Updated the appearance of bandit elves in Obsidian Eye Elves, adding variety colors, gender, and consistency. Assign some colors to roles, which alternate per tier. Corrected gender label and sound references for female elves. Deleted unused prefabs. Now, if we could just assign them the proper loot drop so that if they're wearing equipment, their loot equipment drops with their bodies, that would be really, really nice. Not only that, and if we added variety to the real skills that they're used based off of the tier of the mob, that would also be impressive. Very, very impressive. Yes. Quest items used as world objects will only be able to be picked up when the player is on the quest and meets the quest requirements. Congratulations on fixing that bug. Uh, no more off. running around getting all 12 books before you actually get the quest. Is that what they're saying? I, I, I guess so. Um <clears throat> Yeah, if, if that's the case, then that's going to be problematic. Because, like, one of the books is in one of these starter scenes, um, just sitting there, and you're supposed to grab it, and then you learn later that it, what it's for. I guess we could always chest that out in the uh, Battle of Solace Bridge. Um, or Solace Bridge Outskirt. Or, yeah, Sol Solace Bridge. Um. Turned off GPU instancing for a tree curtain used in many scenes to hopefully fix their too dark appearance. Hopefully. 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 Out in the hidden veil, they improved the path grid, especially to help pets walk across a certain land bridge. Out in everybody's Nobia, they... walking around with pets on the overworld yeah. map over the land bridges, yeah. Out in Novia, they moved a random encounter east of Brittany away from the water's edge. Why? I I guess they didn't. I I guess the the uh, random encounter was wading into the water a little bit. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're still waiting for sea monsters on the shore to uh, you know attack it, 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 the kraken yes <laughs> i mean you know lord lord british did it in eight bit and freaking ultima for crying out loud why can't we do it but today's 16 yeah. bit i mean it, it was uh, 16 bit. there were more I, than eight colors i don't know about that um well well not only that i mean it's like the Lack of mobs, lack of AI is is is, is extremely frustrating um, for me. Oh, they don't have anything else to fix because the game is perfect, don't you know? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I think about that. Added a signpost teleporter at the permanent large island that is now Hunter's Island. And Aldwater, Brecken Bay, Endurance, Four Wind, Port Titan, and Tenaby Landing. Um, <clears throat> added a compass point of interest for the island to Brecken Bay for now. Only for now. Only for now. Yeah. Uh, out in the area, they added a basic loot to skull clippers that can appear in the scene. Renamed the prefabs in the project for consistency. I, I, I like that. Let's rename things in the project for consistency because renaming prefabs in the project that may or may not be used somewhere else would definitely cause some consistency issues. Right? <laughs> 
Out in Erie, they corrected a journal entry for from James Cook to clarify that East Longfall Wetlands is east of Erie. Well, it depends um, on which way you're facing. Well, yeah. And, and what you're using in relation to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fixed a typo in the job response for Ruby Walsh. Out in Ardoris, updated the logic which Damai and Pintar use when talking about how their rulers have instructed the Avatar. Out in Blood River out, outskirts, Aelith in the Vigilante camp no longer has clothing similar to the Airy Rangers and has improved responses. Made data adjustments to her fellow Vigilante guards. Out in Blood River outskirts, they also fix typos in the mention Naturamans to Gus. Also out in the Blood River outskirts, they replaced some covered wagons with uncovered ones, removed an unnecessary teleporter wagon, and in integrated obsidian color variants of elves. Very interesting, you know, because we didn't need covered wagons. We just want everything to get wet. But you know what doesn't get wet, Jack? The bottom of the hour. That's right. And, the streamer bundles. And, and I've got to go find that tab. Then then click on draw entrant and then say that noob sky blabber is getting a stream bundle. Live the stymie. Oh man. Noob. Noob sky blabber. Okay. Valid player name. Wiener. And I need to bring up my inventory so that way I can go type in streamer and send that streamer bundle. Because it is in your in-game mailbox there, noob. And then I might want to turn around and click on the archive button. So that way I can click on the create and open button. Because that, that one is reopened. Um, and it's open on both sides. And it's just in time for us to talk about how in Braemar, they also reduce the excessive smoke coming out from the tavern chimney. Cough, cough. Oh, man. Uh, hey, you missed one. I did. Bra Braemar, they... Oh, they fixed an issue with Flynn Gl Gilson's uh, logic to block the mention shipments to Abbott task when you already have the mention shipment to Anton task. Yeah. Also, in Braemar, they updated the in-game map icon used by the town crier. Mm -hmm. Out in Brittany Fields, they moved or removed reeds, bushes, and trees that were overlapping with lots and couldn't be cleared by decoration placement. In Brittany Wharfs, they added anti-theft protection to numerous objects around the scene. Because you could <laughs> steal them with impunity. He was supposed to be able to steal them. Hello, McFly. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, r remember, there were all kinds of promises. I mean, we had this idea of a lock picking skill at one point in time. We have pick pockets. Um, Which can only and, be done if you're PVP. And, and it's only like one random item against that person. So it's completely useless. Um, and I, I think it's been completely nerfed completely because every town is no ransom. Almost. Pretty much. Pretty so much. It's like, hey, this thing doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it's really nice to have a PvP mechanic where you can't get any loot. Yeah. Because they've tried everything but 
the one reasonable oh, suggestion that we oh, made, oh, which was full loot, like a lot of other games. Yeah. I mean, e even, in this, even long time ago, remember, it's like when Lord British was talking about, like, if you died in a scene for the respawn, you'd still have to do a corpse run. But the only thing that would be left on your corpse was the things harvested in that scene. Even then, that's still better than nothing. That That's still better than nothing. But like yeah. right now, it's like, you don't ever lose shit. You don't ever break anything. Yeah, I've had the same uh, same equipment for yeah. years and years and years. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. Um. Out in Castle Atos, they've replaced exit to Novia triggers in the back half of the scene with collision. Added a back alley connecting the kitchen and the, with the dining hall. Oh, nice. Yeah, out in East Vauban foothills, they added treasure near the Blessing of Invigoration that restocks when the Blessing is activated. The epitaph, they added in a restriction to block players from acquiring a shard of the Vermilion Lens after Episode 1 is complete. <laughs> I can shroud math. Um... Out in the yeah. fall. Yeah. Uh, never mind. That's not one of the items for the three necessary components for the crown, the other stuff, right? You, you mean the, the random spell that you were supposed to be able to cast after you completed the shroud quest that would do something big and then you could go re get that reagent again? Right, right. And, and that those skills have only been used like three, maybe four times in the entire history of the game. I, I don't think I've ever used them, period. Like I said, they've that, That's not true. Like I, I, I think I, think I used them time. just to test them once, but that's about it. Like Otherwise, I said, they've only been yeah. used like three or four times in the entire <laughs> history of the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of like a When's the last time you heard about anybody actually comboing skills? Yeah, I heard somebody complaining that you couldn't combo chaos magic skills because they were broken, but uh, don't don't know about that because I don't use chaos magic. Yeah. Uh, Tina's asking, "Where's my dukehead?" Where's my dukehead? Yeah. Where's my uh, Harrier out, jet? Out in the falls. Oh, did, did you see that on uh, I, uh, Netflix? I, I, I'm, I'm watching it currently, yes. Yeah, so oh, okay, on, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the fu funny part is that Michael Ivanati was actually one of the guys involved in uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah, which I, which I in found jail. interesting. Actually, now he's, he's uh, on, uh, what is it? Uh, Parole? House arrest. Oh, okay. okay. Is uh, it, it, you know, they had a green screen his backgrounds because they put it up on there. Is uh, Michael Zabinati is currently on a house arrest, so we had to go to him and you see you actually see the green screen before they throw the uh, background in. Yeah, you know, they 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 really uh, have some fun with it. But yes, where's my Harrier jet? Uh, go check it out on uh, Netflix. Where's my jet? Pepsi. Where's my jet? Um, in the fall. In the room with two liches, slowed their respawn rate to better follow our standards. <laughs> oh man, that word. To better follow our standards. Try not to say that without laughing too much. And added a chance for a higher tier lich to spawn. Added flame traps in the halls above. Also in the fall, added an extra room nearby where another pair of liches can alternatively spawn. Out in Grusk, they added a new story for Vish Pop. Vish Pop. Yes, Lily. How may I how may I pet you today? Uh 
out in High Vale outskirts. After accepting Hyla's quest, the Avatar no longer says they found her father's note unless they actually did. Unless they actually found it. Remarkable. Yes. And we're adding some quest logic into the game. Yay. And conditional statements are being followed. Yes. Also, out in Highvale outskirts, they moved a dead body so it wouldn't be obviously visible from the elevator platform. And replaced the monastery gate with a non-breakable one, fixed typos, and some non-guard response. It updated the monastery response for some guards to not assume they are at the bottom of the elevator. And uh, that's what they did out in Highvale outskirts. Notice they actually had several things chained together related to Highvale outskirts but still use two bullet points. They could have just made it. Um, um, then, out in the hills encounter, updated the unicorn scenario to account for a rare case where no unicorn. No unicorn to you. Appears. Yes. That unicorn does not like you. Yes, Lily. <laughs> we need love. I love you too, Lily. Okay. Yeah. Out in the lost white guard silver mine, NPCs can now walk through the shallow water. Added more ladders to connect the floor to the raised platforms. As well, I mean, it's like seriously. Lost white guard silver mine again. Reduce the awareness radii of for wave battle enemies that spawn behind the locked door at the end of the cave system. Out now's head, they added a return to previous location wagon teleport. Why? 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 Why, Why? Why do we need Why? a return to previous location? Period. Why? Yeah. Don't need it. We've got all these things called scrolls in our backpack. Um, it, it really, I, I really equate this to them not thinking whenever they're designing things. And then huh? they they don't realize, hey, we made a mistake, and let's go back and fix it. Yes. Uh, Mythic Quest. I believe I've watched that. Oh, no, Not I'm familiar sorry. with it. It's Not a, familiar with it. It's a D&D uh, uh, parody show, uh, I think, on Amazon Prime. And ah. I think there's like six movies for it. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, the Mythic Quest devs are 30 years too young to be like the Soda ones. Yeah. Also, in Alice Head, they fixed data issues in some of Emily's the crafting good merchant responses and added a missing word to her Outlander response. Yeah, above that. Uh, they changed some props to be protected by anti-theft detection. Why? Because why? Silly. Yeah, why? Because we've got we've got nothing better to do, like fix maps. Yeah. It, well, there the the process is we're going to break all the maps. Yeah. And and not and not remove maps from the game completely. Uh, he improved how Kindred two True years Shot works. Now. The two the years maps have been promised. Still nothing. We're, we're <laughs> one month away from the two year anniversary, no, by the way. No. In two years, we've gotten six maps. Yeah. Well, 60, pl 60 plus if you go by Ravlox's. Uh, I, I changed all the dungeon oh, maps to cards. Yeah. yeah you know. D deleted them all. Yes. Yeah. Including ones where there already were existing maps. And yeah. I'm just going to delete this shit um, instead of work on it because it's too hard. Out in the snowy tundra, Aether Dragons can no longer appear in the scene. Out in Solace Bridge, Haskirts fixed the placement of an inaccessible ore node. <coughs> Out in Spindle Skog, they added fireflies to help see the wildflower required for the Tanglemire quest. As well as fixed a typo in the despised monolith. Compass marker name. Out in Ulfheim, 
fixed a typo in the despised monolith com compass marker name as well as moved the positive truth monolith away from where the wyvern and reaper spawns into a little oh. safer area. Um, oh, it, oh, that, that show is actually on a uh, Apple TV. Oh, oh, wait, it's Mythica. That's on Amazon prime. Sorry. Sorry. Mythica. Out in Vicland, uh, avatar should no longer be available able to trigger so i have not seen mythic quest um avatars should no longer be able to trigger buried treasure chests by walking over the buried location we've got buried treasure chests i didn't know that out only in vicland but you trigger them by walking over them and, and they should have actually reintroduced the tripping causes death bug which would have made that phenomenal <laughs> A little pebble in the road kills you. Uh, Vicland, they fixed a typo in the despised monolith uh, compass marker and fixed descriptions and buried treasure instructions, moving the compass marker for the witch and the cobalt statue to the correct position and fixed the logic that should archive the deliver amulet to raider task when giving the amulet to Leva the raider. And they re lengthened the reset time for buried treasure chest to over four minutes, improved how avatars can climb up the central hill to the witch and zombie statue. And they added butterflies and fireflies to some situ locations and fixed a bad section of the path grid. Out in West End, they fixed mission collisions under two stairs, added extra blockers to keep avatars from swimming front under most of the main town platform. And White Guard Foothills uh, fixed a misnamed compass marker to discovery at a small campsite and added a map for the breach. No oh, map, what? Wait, the map's a dungeon. Shouldn't that be a card? Oh, yeah. Do, wait, wait. Let, let's go see if it is a map. Hold, hold, hold on. Because, because this, this is their own fucking policy. Uh, do I have the breach? Uh, no, I don't. Damn it. Does anybody have... Uh, I do not have the breach here. Let's see. Any friends out there? No. You never know. No. <laughs> Damn it. Neither Laz nor myself have the breach, so we can't go out there to check and hit the M key. Where is someone that we know that's online that we can teleport to? Where are you people? The breach is an island. No, that would be the, where the beach is. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. Let's see. Uh... Uh, let's see. Try to the com slash map. No. Yeah, no, Breach isn't there. It's on Mistrender? Are you sure about that? Where is the Breach? Okay. All right, no, ti no time to mess with that. We'll, we'll, we'll check that out maybe when we get back. Okay, Applesauce Pants is going to log in for us. So that way we can do these thingies and go to the breach and laugh if they put in a map for the breach when the when dungeons are not supposed to have any maps. Yeah, well, keep, keep reading this. Uh... Serpents hold they corrected the exit target for when players leave the island, town into <clears throat> Novia. Player dungeon changes. They remove deco surfaces from the spawning versions of the player dungeon rooms. Disabled the PvP experience multiplier multiplier in P player dungeons and added dungeon cards for the various foyers. Why? Why the fuck do I need a dungeon card in my personal fucking dungeon? Why? Why, why, why? Why did you put such a stupid item into the game? Why? Please, somebody. Why? Because players will hit M. 
doesn't matter. It's, you know, you, you can't map a dungeon that's, you know, uh, player well, I, creatable. I, I, Unity know. can. I'm sure it could. But every time I change it, what does Unity got to do? Do a run an update? Well, well, so remember design mode versus adventurer mode. Uh, it, I mean, again, Unity knows exactly what's there. So it's like they, they can, it can do a mini map from that. I'm sure. And then you just change the, uh, the radius that's, that's visible. It, yeah. Tina's like, it can be done. They can't. Yes. Okay. So while Applesauce Pants is logging in, let's jump over to Majoria's wish list. No, 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 no. You need to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and go to the sales and bonus events because double XP will be enabled Thanksgiving weekend for November 23rd through November 28th. And the Crown Store sale category items will be 30% off for all of release 108. Uh-huh. Ravelox has other sales to announce on the Friday the 18th stream. Including 20% off of Crown Store items. Or 20% off of Crowns. Ooh. Okay. Now jump to wish list because you're going to love this shit. Nope, 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 nope. Did you get the release 108 subscriber login rewards? Uh, not not interested in that. You don't you don't care about the fact that you're you're getting a tabletop Yule statue and, and some nope. gift boxes. Nope, because or, or if she, you log she, into she, the she, game, she, she wants she wants to talk about some of these gift boxes. So let's talk about okay. these gift boxes. Yeah, because fine. Yeah. fine. Uh, wait, which one was that one? Majoria. Well, I gotta find which one's Majoria. Man. There's only two of them. This is Jeez. a wish list I list to list the missing I don't understand it for or seriously why is it missing? One, we need a Kodo sale now as we prepare for holiday decorating. Active. One A. Isn't the point of crowdfunding being that the crowd has incentive to fund? Mm -hmm. And B, holidays are especially an opportunity to fund as are times when we get new items. Two. Can we get some gifts that are not containers so we can place, place them on pots? A, pots are not allowed many containers to be placed but on it yet, but yet we can buy Yule trees to place on the pot, but then very few presents can be, go under the de tree for decorating under the pot. Yeah, because you can only put like one or two. Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's just give more containers that can't be used and play your own towns. That's why I wanted to get to this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we need more light counts on pots and lots. Also, to mention castle lot light limit is very low, giving lower incentive for the upgrade. This was that was a very disappointing upgrade. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> 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 sucker. Uh, and we need individual road pavers for sale for ability to buy straight pieces. Pavers take item count and road pavers take less item count since you use less. Especially the long pieces. Yeah. We need a 2019 menorah. The collection of menorah is missing 2019, right? Once again, that should never come back to for sale if it does exist. Yes, absolutely. Never. Once you had that year to get it. If you missed it, you missed it. You aren't here. You're SOL. Or yeah. you can buy it from shroudmarketplace.com. Yeah. All right. We're, um, we've, we've got somebody in the breach. Let's go take a look. Okay. And... Oops. I do not have a friend in the breach. Yeah, that's why you're going to be following me. Yep. 
Lily, don't puke on the carpet. Lily. You're not supposed to puke on the park carpet. L Lily's hacking. Okay. Yeah, we've said that for years, uh, Tina. If they were smart, they would buy out Shroud Marketplace, like they did with Soda Map, and then totally ruin yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. Hello. Um. And there's that new, not to mention, not to be mentioned site that's charging forty dollars for a fucking T-shirt. And it's a marquee dragon thing. Yeah, well, that's why I said and not to be mentioned, you, you, but you, you, you know, he doesn't even play the game, so. so. This is actually an adventure scene, it looks like. This isn't a dungeon. Oh, yeah, this is not a dungeon. Oh, Jesus. It's just, just a winter. Tear something. Hey, Dorn, what's going on with that guild of yours, by the way? Oh, that's a water elemental. Oh, shit. Shock monkey. <laughs> Not ready for it. Not ready for it. Come on, shock. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get my ass kicked. <laughs> Hey, look at this. Dead bodies floating in the water. Oh, look at that. And I died in the water. Okay, I killed the shock monkey. <laughs> Who the fuck brought this ancient fucking golem? <laughs> well, this is a tier 15 uh, plus area, so. And look at that! I'm dead and I'm overweight. Imagine that. I'm, I'm, I'm I, 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 I I don't know how I'm overweight while I'm dead, but uh, I, 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 we're 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 going to actually end up griefing everybody that that came for us because <laughs> we dragged them all to the entrance. Oopsies. Yeah. Well, I spanked the monkey. Okay, I spanked the monkey. I killed the monkey. I died to the 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 golem. <laughs> oh, uh, and did you hear that where Kickstarter homes are going to be sold as bundles soon? Oh, Jesus. I mean, it's like, seriously, all things you're never supposed to sell again, you're selling. It's like, you guys are. And why am I still taking damage? Because the water is poisonous, man. Oh, the water is cold. Very interesting. Yeah. I've, I've never seen cold water like that before. Well, I mean, that happens mostly the time we, we have poisony water. It's shrinkage, but man. Shrinkage. 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 <laughs> All right. So the breach is not actually a dungeon. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I got spanked by an elemental, I think it was. But that's... Uh, you spanked your monkey. I'll do that later. Are you sure about that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Lass has left. Would I like to follow? I clicked follow, and then I got stunned by the obsidian golem. Holy shit, this fucker is killing my ass. Yeah, well, we shouldn't go out in our news outfits because uh well i, they, I they... changed <laughs> okay no hold on hold on time, time to recall out recall <laughs> okay yeah i i knew about it out in the uh, troll bridge but uh you know very rarely does the troll bridge really do that much damage uh, especially standing in the water because i guess i never stand in it too long but speaking of standing in it, we're standing at the top of the hour here, and it's time for us to wrap things up. Oh, that that, that means we need to start closing some giveaways. Uh, what do you say we, we, we be nice and we give away two streamer bundles today since we won't well, be here for the rest of the week? 
I only have four entries in line. Oh, uh, that's noob, okay. Noob, Skyblabber, getting another streamer bundle. And He's getting yet another streamer bundle because he just won on my side as well. Oh, as well side. as the stymie. Wait, I also had the stymie. Rigged. <laughs> yeah, very rigged. <laughs> Don't know what you guys are, are doing, but yeah. Um, and then we're going to pick a mystery game key winner. And that winner is going to be Lomir. Lomir Dane. I've got Box Try on my side. And Box Try is getting the Postal Paradise Pack. Because it's time to go postal. And Lomir is going to get a copy of Game Dev Studio. Game Dev Studio. Oh, yay. Congratulations, and, oh, Lomir. Nom, 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 it, nom. It is time for kickoff in the United States versus Wales. And well, you go ahead and have yourself some fun watching people kick our little ball around. As uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the week off right. And uh, I don't know. Go do something. I don't know go, what. Go, go enjoy the pool, man. Yeah, a little too too cool. Well, it is 79 degrees here, so I shouldn't say that. And your, your pool is probably 80-something because you've got a heater for it. Oh, no. i got to turn the heater on for oh. that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But yes, everybody have a great, happy, and safe Thanksgiving. And of course, we will return next Monday right here on NBNN. Of course, till then, be safe, be happy, and don't forget to tune in next Monday right here. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Gobble, gobble. <laughs>